So no one in the whole world is ever going to believe me, except for like crazy people. Um, but once upon a time, in real life though, I broke my alarm clock with my mind. Um, so I was, I was trying to get to sleep, and you know like when you have to wake up really early for something really important, and um, that's obviously when you like cannot sleep at all, and so you like look at the clock, and it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, and then you look at it, and it's 4 o'clock, and you look at it, it's 5, and you're like, Jane, get to sleep. Only you probably don't say Jane, um, unless your name is Jane, or you just like to call yourself Jane. Um, well that was happening to me one night, but I thought to myself, if my alarm clock breaks, I won't have to wake up so early in the morning. I mean, it won't be my fault, because my alarm clock is just broken. Um, and so I really wanted my alarm clock to break so badly, um, so I like turned around in my bed so I wasn't even looking at my alarm clock, and I just said to myself, it's okay, don't worry about getting to sleep, you can sleep as much as you want in the morning because your alarm clock is going to break. Um, so I'm like almost asleep, I'm comforted by these thoughts that my alarm clock is going to break, and then I hear this sound, and I turn around, and my alarm clock is just flashing like 12, 12, 12, over and over again, and I'm like, oh, my alarm clock is broken, because I did it with my mind, and it just seemed so like normal to me, but then I realized, um, because I found out that my alarm clock was broken, I woke up by it being broken, um, I had to like reset it and um, actually wake up on time because that doesn't count. But all like in my head it sounded fine and during the night I was like, oh yes, my alarm clock broke because I did it with my mind. But then in the morning I was like, oh my god, I have these magic superpowers because I can break alarm clocks with my mind. Um, so I've never been able to again, um, but maybe I will in the future. I've never needed to as much now. I plus I don't want to like abuse my like superpower of breaking alarm clocks with my mind. Um, so the poem that I'm going to read today, it's called Alarm. It is, it's also about a, I guess it's about a haunted alarm clock. Um, I guess my, this alarm clock in the poem is a Christian alarm clock though. Um, mine, I guess it's just a secular alarm clock, um, because it's an alarm clock. Um, so yeah, this poem is called Alarm. Uh, you can follow along below or uh, read it on uh, janeoskowski.com. Alarm. The radio on your alarm switches on at 3 a.m. unbeckoned. The voice of a nighttime preacher speaking forgiveness onto dead waves. It begins in your dreams and only later do you realize that the voice is not water spilling from a crack in a brick wall. You bring your fingers to your face, listening to the voice which is not fire telling you you are loved by an empty sky. He says it with such conviction to this all-night radio audience. Drunks, insomniacs, suicides, and a hundred million precious variations of the three. Promises spilling through the static, the way sadness slowly slides from a broken heart. You are aware of how it will sound in the morning, when you tell your co-workers how you became a Christian, how you must pray and be good those unwanted answers arrived feeling so solid against the black backdrop of your midnight bedroom. But that comes later. Now you are sitting up. You are pulling the blankets from your bed, the clothes from your body. You will wash away your sins in your apartment complex swimming pool closed for fall. Your brain is chandelier glass with that nighttime preacher's words still whispering in the background made of light. Alright, so that was the poem Alarm. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you ever need an alarm clock broken with your mind, um, just call me up. I guess with my mind, not yours. Maybe I could teach you how. Um, and I will see you all on Monday.